Okay, remembering to turn my microphone on before I start. Um, let me just... And do some minor adjustments. Okay, so we should be good to start. I can check up on that in a minute. Okay, so uh, today, <laughs> it's been two years coming, uh, but today we're going to be <laughs> playing Taisho Alice again for the first time in a very, <laughs> very long time. Um, <laughs> I started this like two years ago and um, I had a lot of internet problems with streaming and stuff back then. Um, but now I have good internet, so I'll be able to actually, you know, stream more stuff and better stuff. So we're going to be playing Taisho Alice again. Um, because it's been two years, I don't really remember anything um, except for... I remember I loved Alice. I loved Alice. This little dude here on the on the screen, on the main screen. Um, I remember he was a jerk and I loved him. And then I remember Red looked like Goro Akechi from Persona 5 and so I had to pick him. <laughs> so we're going to try this again and see what all I remember. Um, I did remember to change my character's name to Yurika, uh, from Yurika to T, so we're gonna, we're gonna give this a little starty start. Uh, oh, uh, I guess I should technically do the introduction again, since this is gonna be a fresh walkthrough. Um, but I kinda wanna just jump straight into red. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll start fresh from the start. So let's, let's just start this all over. Like it's my first time playing. I'm still not going to look up anything. I'm going to do a completely blind run. So, uh, suddenly you find yourself lost in a world of darkness. Where am I? I keep walking and walking, but I can't seem to find an exit. It's so dark. I can't see anything. I can't even tell how far I've walked or how much time has passed. No matter where you go, the scenery around you remains static and unchanging. It's as if the darkness has consumed everything, all sense of direction, even the very concept of time itself. Were you to stand perfectly still and hold your breath, the only sound would be that of your own heartbeat. What am I doing here? Who am I? <laughs> I'm D. Hello. You can't remember a thing. Oh. Not even your own name. I can't remember my beautiful, beautiful name. I can't remember anything. Alone in the dark, fear and loneliness overwhelms you. Hello? Is anyone there? If you're there, say something, please! No one's here. I was, uh, was I always alone, or did I get separated from someone? I don't know. I don't know anything. You soon grow tired of walking, and yet every time you think to stop, something spurs you forward in spite of yourself. Maybe I'll find something just up ahead. Your morale is in tatters, and your legs are threatening to give out, but you press on regardless. Uh, what on earth? Out of nowhere, the darkness seizes you by the leg, threatening to pull you down into its inky depths. No! You struggle with all your might, refusing to let the shadows swallow you up. With no way to tell left from right, you run blindly forward. And then, after an impalpable length of time, you meet a young man. <gasps> there he is! I see him! Hello! Oh, right. I am not supposed to talk when they talk. A young man with golden blonde hair and pretty blue eyes. And his name is... I finally found you! 
So tell me, who are you? What are you doing here? Do you know where we are? So what do I know if 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 あの僕の話聞いてます。君、話通じない人は。なあ、フェマイセラマステン、ラインヒアルアンコンフィー。それとも、僕の質問をわざと無視してまで自分の意見を通したいがために、他人のことを考慮しない行動をする自己中心的な性格破綻者ですか<笑> so mean! <笑>はやしー <laughs> This is Alice. He's a meanie. But I love him. Dai Dai. Tanin no Namayo Tasner Tokiwa. Mazu Jibun Karanano Monodate Kita Kotoka Naikana. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just so happy to see you. I couldn't help it. Doi Tecrete Arigato. Kimiga Doreda Kevoroka de Rico Tekita to Stemo. Kanzen ni Hanashiga Tsujina Jinshu de Nakta Yokata. <laughs> I listened after the third time. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I listened after he asked me three times to move, because third time's the charm. <laughs> uh, the thing is, um, I don't remember what my name is or even what I'm doing here. Hi. Most likely, yes. I've been trying to remember, but for some reason I just can't. Almost like I'm not myself? Everything's so fuzzy. Hmm. Hmm? That's all you have to say? Bogakioksoiska,と聞いただけだ。君が身勝手に語り出した自身の状況から推察したにすぎない。いわば条件反射であり、ただのレスポンスであり。社交辞令であり、そこに君への同情心なんてものは一ミクロンも存在しない。はははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははは
You think so? No, Kawate. Hen, Okashi, Atamaga, Ikareteri to Shkawene. Corn dog shy of a pickle. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard that outside of the context of this game. Corn dog shy of a picnic. I, I why did I read pickle? <laughs> <laughs> Same statement stands. I've never heard the thing outside of the game, but <laughs> am I really that strange? Don't answer that. Oh, I know. In that case, how about you choose a name for me? Huh? Hmm. Well, you said it's odd for me to be asked to, for me to ask a stranger his name when I don't know my own but I can't remember it because I have amnesia and you're the only other person here and on top of that you want me to introduce myself first but I don't know my name so I can't introduce myself and you're being a little brat about it so if you choose my name for me then I'll have a name and I can introduce myself and then you can introduce yourself back and then we can be friends. It's like killing two birds with one stone. Listen, I'm trying here, bud. Pretty smart, right? Sipping my my dumb juice over here. <笑>頭のネジが緩いを通り越してぶっ飛んでるとは思ってはいたけれど一本や二本どころの騒ぎではなく最初からネジなど存在しない空っぽで空虚で中身のないガランドだったとはな。You <笑> have no idea. It's an echo chamber up here, bud. You get one song in my brain and that shit rattles around for a week. Exactly! That's why it's an echo chamber! Can't remember shit! Except for that one song I heard 20 years ago when I was a child. Will you give me a name? Yeah,だね。なぜ僕が君に懐かなければならない?僕は君の親か。生き別れの兄弟か。少なくとも僕と君の容姿は似ても似つかないのでその可能性はないだろう。what are you talking about? I think we look perfectly alike. Just look at my lush green hair and my black eyes. We're identical. <laughs> then what will you call me? I like how I started this off very seriously and I'm already going into gremlin voice. Okay, fine. Forget about me for right now. So, tell me about you. Fucking <laughs> 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 do it. Stop dodging the question and maybe the conversation will go somewhere. Hey. <laughs> Tabun. Nice to meet you, Mr. I think. Sayonara, Ogenki. Mo, Nido to Alcotomonaida. Hajimi must say, Tabun Tan. Look, I'm sorry. It was a joke. A dad joke. A fantastic dad joke. You can't blame me for taking the opportunity. Please don't go. I'm so lonely. <laughs> Listen, if you can't appreciate a good dad joke, I have unfortunate news for you. <laughs> if I don't exist, then I'm going to haunt you. Your shoulders will be very heavy. <laughs> oh. Boy, I fucking love him. Okay, I'm sorry. So, you're Alice, huh? Cute name. But you're not sure if it's really yours. Why is that? Oh, 
こういうところは都合よく鈍いんだよ。Listen, I just want you to admit it with your own fucking mouth. Will you please just answer the question? しょうがない。心優しい僕が頭の弱い君に教えてあげよう。サービスだぞ。泣いて喜べ。<laughs> Hooray! Thank you, Your Majesty, for blessing me! Smarty, what a. Okum, avoid the nine. I'm sorry. One more time. <laughs> you don't remember your own name? So, Kimmy, a coco got doko nanoka. Those the coco nilnoka bokuni tasnetaga. これで僕がすぐに答えなかった意味が分かっただろう僕はわざと答えなかったわけではなく答えられなかったから答えなかったのまあそれとは別に君の態度が僕を苛立たせたという理由もあるにはあるのだがなむしろそちらの方が正当な理由かいやいやいやいやいやいやオッケーオッケーオッケーオッケーとにかく、僕は気づくとここにいた。気づくと記憶がなかった。もう。特に支障はなかったので、ここでのんびりしていたら、君が現れた。君が置かれた状況とさほど変わりない。ああ、and so here we are。ただ、僕は君と違って、<笑>アリスという名前を覚えている。うん。But you're not sure if that's your name. ああそうだ。とは言ってもアリスという言葉がそもそも本当に名前を示すものかどうかそれが僕であるのか疑わしいがな。うん。そもそもアリスというのは女性の名前であって男である僕がアリスという名前なのもおかしいのだが。Anyone can have any fucking name they want. I named myself, myself after a beverage. But that's all you remember, huh? そうだ。それ以外覚えていないわけだしな。第一、君がここに現れ、僕の名前を求めなければ、僕には名前など必要なかった。君が現れなかったら、僕もアリスではなかったということさ。Huh? How does that work? I mean, you would still only remember that your name is Alice, even if I wasn't here. It's only the fact that you have to say it out loud? というわけでだ。今から君の名前は便宜上アリスとする。OK? アリスとアリスは the AA team <笑>。Will you be my sponsor? <咳> you want me to be Alice? そうだ。僕たちには記憶がないんだ。僕はアリスという名前を覚えているが、それが自分のものなのか、それとも別の誰かのものかはわからない。そこに現れたのは同じく記憶をなくした君だ。OK, OK, 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 OK。僕は君を知らないが、記憶をなくす以前の僕たちは知り合いで、君の名前がアリスだという可能性も万が一つにもあるかもしれない。We knew each other? 僕が知るわけないだろう。<笑> I mean, that, that's fair. We're all just speculating here. No one can remember anything. It's the blind leading the blind. Maybe we were friends. Or maybe we were in love. それはないな。君は僕の好みから外れている。<laughs> I like you, though. それはいわゆる、like というやつか。それとも。そんなことはどうでもいい。<笑> scared to find out the truth? あ,あ、それでどうなんだアリスという名前は不服か先ほど散々僕に名前をつけると言っていたのはどこのドイツだ ?I hope it's not like echoing or something. Does it sound like it's echoing? Because my mic's going off every time Alice talks. Even though I have headphones on. <clears throat> Sorry, a little bit of water. Okay, good. No echo. <clears throat> Thank you. That's all well and good, 
but now we'll both be deemed Alice. Kind of weird, don't you think? Nope, I'm good with Arisu. Nice to meet you, Alice. Ah, Yoroshiku, Arisu. Dekiriba, Horejo, Yoroshiku, Stuck, Naino, Dagane. Too bad, I'm sticking around. So, what's your next move, Alice? Do Sermo, Go Sermo, Destiny, Do Sertz Morimonai. Kimia, Sonna Kotoki, the Do Sertz Morida. Because I'm bored. Ma, no thinking a Kimi no Kotodakara, Coco Kara de Taito, Motter and Taroga. Muri, Muri, Yametoke. Do se Boktacha, Coco Kara de Raria Shinai. But why are we trapped? That's the real question. What makes you assume that? Muri da Karada. Lon Yori Shoko to Yuga, Sonna Mono and I. She te yeba Dai Rokandarona. What does Kimi Koso, Naze Coco Kara de Taito? Ima Made no Kimino even Karasasurni, Kimi a Coco Kara de Taindaro. I'm surprised you're so content with staying. Mm, I suppose you're right. I do want to get out of here. I may not have my memories, but I can tell I'm not meant to be here. I mean, why else would the darkness attack me earlier? Whew. Yami? Yeah, darkness. Yami. Yeah, before we met up, I was searching for an exit when it grabbed my leg out of nowhere. I thought I was going to get swallowed up. Because it does. It does it do. And it's hungry. For these hot legs of mine. Come to think of it. Oh, no, no, no. My stupidity goes much deeper than you could ever fathom. Uh, how is it I'm able to see you so clearly when it's pitch black in here? Isn't that kind of strange? Are you saying this is something you noticed right away? A badass? So, how does it work? We're not glowing or anything, are we? In the in this darkness, one would think we'd only uh, we'd only see each other as shadowy silhouettes. But to me, you look just the same as you would under ordinary daylight. Oh, I know. What about me? Can you see me? Oh, my point. Give me my point back. Give it back! I like grab him by his vest and I shake. I'm like, give me my point back. So let him Nanika. Boka him out the Hitori Manza, you stay tato demo. Boka Hitori Gaskidaka, Hitori Goto, you yona shimmy on I. I mean, are you? Shinami Sakyo Mister Yuga, you are the Yurega Mieto, you tie stimuli. Ma Boka Kyoko Nakustakara. I mean, you got part of it right. You got the young and the handsome part right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, I mean, it's not like I'm actually very blind. I wear glasses. <laughs> You're right. I can't be a ghost. I have like hands and feet and everything. <laughs> Because, <laughs> you know, ghosts don't have hands and feet and everything. Whew. What a relief. I was scared I was going to be a ghost for a second. Hanashiがそれた。先ほどの話題に戻るぞ。ま、き君はここにいてはいけない。なぜなら <laughs> The logical basis. My apologies. The logical basis for me being afraid of the darkness swallowing me is the fact that earlier the darkness tried to swallow me. Does that make sense to you? 
No, not really. It's just a gut feeling. The same way you know we're trapped. Kimi ga yu yami ga donna mono ka wa karanai ga. Fantasy seka yoroshiku. Yami ga kimi o sotta to yu no nara. Boku a donna. I don't know. Maybe because you're supposed to be here and I'm not. Or maybe it's because I want to get out and you're just like, meh. Boku a zutto kono ba ni todomatte iru ga. Kimi to chibatte nan tomo nai. Sora dou yu dikus da? I'm not sure I can. All I know is that there must be a reason it tried to devour me. Though I don't know if it was seeking me specifically or if I just happened to pass by or what. The only other alternative I can think of is what if the darkness wasn't attacking me, but rather my body was attempting to assimilate itself? I, I would become darkness, and then I'd be everywhere, and you would never get rid of me. I'm not sure. I think maybe I'd disappear, cease to exist. Something like that. So, Nara Scoshi Small Kayo. Kimi another Jibunga Kyoki Sophis Nanoka Wakarga. Because I can't remember anything and I am adult sized. I size of a grown up. I don't know. Kimi a Kyoko Torimodo Staika. Well, duh. Maybe? No, I. Definitely want my memories back. Absolutely. What do you mean? Kimiが君で亡くなっても。What yeah, that's very true. Smarty. Jibun to you, Sonsaiwa. Ima made no cake and ya. I can got Skuriageta mono de Arto you cotoda. So ste, son of Okareta, Kankyoga, y penchta jo taiga, Ima no kimida. Smarty kimia hon is taking you a kimida at the mo. Gain show taking you a Ima made no kimida. Kyoko Torimodos to you cotoa.眠っていたもう一人の自分を呼び覚ますということだ。君は自分が良き人間だったと思うか。とんでもない悪人だったという可能性は否定できないはずだ。なぜなら君には確固たる記憶がないんだからな。Are <笑> I have plenty of sins. Just ask my friend Autumn. Autumn says I have 88 sins. Roughly. Yeah, I am. No matter what mistakes she made, no matter who she is, she's still me. それは随分と殊勝なことだ。だが、君がもしも今までの君を受け入れたとしても、今までの君が新しい君を受け入れるかどうかはわからない。I hope she accepts me. Be sad if I hated myself. Well, no, okay, I get. I take it back. Never mind. Ignore me. Kimi ga kono saki keiken shite iku koto. Koute shita mono. Kyozet shita mono. Subete o mukashi no Kimi ga hite shita ra dou suru? I don't know. So far, I think it's kind of funny. I don't know. If she despises me, what does that mean for me? Well, I mean, I'll be me anyways. Jibun jishin no shoufitsu o imi suru no daro? Tsumari wa. Or will assimilate together into one super me. So no different from if I were assimilated into the darkness. So then. So then what does it fucking matter? I'd rather assimilate into myself than into the darkness. Unless the darkness is myself and then I'm fine either way because there's no fucking difference. To be honest, there's still a lot I don't quite understand, but I can tell that you're worried about me. Thank you. Ha? Huh? Ha? Huh? He's just like, the fuck did you just say? You're a sweet, kind-hearted person. I'm sure you don't want me to disappear. Naze so narunda. Like in every Persona game, there is a character born of the shadows or something. I'm a Persona child. 
What makes you think that? Isn't it obvious? Everything you just said makes it crystal clear you don't want to see me go. You forgot butterflies. There's also butterflies up here. Sunshine, rainbows, and butterflies. Maybe a unicorn. That's, there, there's actually two unicorns. That's where my horns come from. Or maybe they made me extra special with glitter and sugar on top. I'm not talking about edible glitter. <laughs> because you're lonely, you don't want me to go. Maybe you like me. Or maybe being alone frightens you. <laughs> if that's not it, then... Maybe you don't want to disappear. Maybe you don't want to remember. Because you're projecting your insecurities on me. If it's not me you're worried about, then it has to be you. Admit it. You're sad that I hit the nail on the head. Uh, a really dark place. <laughs> what, purgatory? Oh, come on. Ooh, Yume. So, 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 so. A dream? Is that even possible? So, I don't remember anything that happened in this world. I mean, my assumption of purgatory is also possible. We could just be dead. No, the, the darkness isn't real in the corporeal world, but it can be real in the non-material realm. Because it's not material. I don't, I don't know. I'm, it could be purgatory! Shut up! The imitation darkness. The spam of darkness. Darkness spam. では、なぜ君は闇に襲われたなどと盲言を吐いたのか。安心しろ。盲言とは言ったが、別に君が嘘をついたとは思ってはいない。No, you just want to keep proving that I'm stupid. No, you shut up! You shut up! I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not all. I'm, I am stupid, but I'm not like all stupid. I can have smart moments. I can say a thing that sounds intelligent. だがこれが夢だとしたら、すべてが肯定される。なぜならば夢だからだ。この世界が夢の中だと仮定すると正直何でもありだ。夢ならば闇っぽい何かに襲われようが幽霊土の子熱心などといったいわゆる創作上の生物に襲われようが何ら不思議ではない現実も理論もクソくらいだ。I'd <笑> oh no, it'd be such a shame if some really hot monsters showed up out of nowhere. 以上、僕がこの世界が夢であると思うゆえんだ。何か質問は。おい。いきなりブサイクな面をしてどうした。<laughs> Alice is over here like lecturing me and Adis is just like Bleh. just like <laughs> I'm so glad I have faces <laughs> I figured if I pinched my cheeks I'd know if, if I were in a dream or not oh okay so I was just pinching and no, I I would make faces. I like making faces. So ka so ka. Nara boku mo kasei shite yaro. Ah, choto choto. Ow 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 ow. That hurts. I think. Kimi wa genshitsu toyu kotoba o shitte iru ka? Kega ya byouki ni yotte shishi o setsudan shita ato aru hazu mo nai te ya ashi ga itamu shoujo da so da. 
詳しい原因は分かっていないそうだが、体に受けたダメージだけが痛みとして知覚されるわけではないということだ。夢で色を認識しているのはなぜだ。時には上手いものを食べて、味や匂いといった感覚を夢の中で得たことはないか。別にあり
それは無意識のうちに自分を無に着そうとしているのかもしれないぞ、うんうんうん、そもそもこれが夢だとしたらどちらが本物なんだろうな夢を見ているのは僕かそれとも君か If we're dreaming about each other, then what relationship do we have in the wa waking world? The whacking world? The walking world? <laughs> the arm flailing, waving, inflatable tube man world! <laughs> Are you saying I'm your worst nightmare? <laughs> you charmer. That sucks. <laughs> Oh, right. Where were we? I seem to recall we were debating on whether or not this place has an exit. <laughs> yes, dream or not, I want to get out of here. Oh. If this dream is a fragment of my, re of my memory, then surely the real me wants to wake up just as much as I do. So, if you want to find the way to the way, you can find the way to the way. Oh, but will you be okay by yourself? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I just like grab his arm and drag him with me, and he just like screams and yells the whole time, calling me obscene things. And I'm just like, do, 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 yay! <laughs> so it's not a win for you, because then you're all alone in here. Won't you be scared all by yourself? Won't you miss me? What happened to you, bruv? You seem pretty sad. I think I think you're thinking about me leaving and you're just like, oh man, but she's so cool. I'll miss you though. Kimi Jibun Kate that the Warenaika. Has anybody told you how how in denial you are? Oh, right, me all the time right now. I'd say just you, but I can't remember. Get it? Amnesia. <laughs> With my memories, I have like 60,000 more dad jokes to whip out. Yeah. That's fair. I kind of feel like you deserve it, though. <laughs> <laughs> Ditsy Demon! That's my new nickname! I'm T, the Ditsy Demon! ヒヒヒヒヒヒヒヒヒヒヒヒヒヒヒヒヒヒヒヒヒヒヒヒヒヒヒヒヒヒヒヒヒヒヒヒヒヒヒヒヒヒヒヒヒヒヒヒヒ
worry, no matter what happens, I won't let go. You're not alone, I'll always be with you. Yes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> because I wanna! <laughs> right. I'm sorry, Your Highness. Do you have somewhere more important to be? You don't have to expend any energy if I drag you. だから残念なことに時間を有効活用しようと思ったのならそれなりの代償を払わなければならない。動いて息をしているということは時間が進んでいるという証拠でもあるからな。Same can be said for just standing around, bud. You stand still, but time still fucking roll, roll, rolls along. よっておそらく普段の僕ならば最短かつ最適な行動を取るところだろう。You're starting to remind me of what very little I can remember of Red. Wait. Oh, I just had an idea. I'm gonna wait to say it until I have more data. Good. Then let's fucking waste as much of it as we want, because it can't be wasted. It's not a bad thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just shut up and take my hand already. <laughs> you're gonna become very familiar with the floor if you stop moving. It's okay. I'll just I'll tug you along until you're ready to walk again. Got it. <laughs> So begins the story of Alice and Arisu. Hand in hand, you wander together. You want well, yeah, you wander together through the darkness and in search of an exit. <laughs> I have screws in my head. When I shake my head, you can hear them go rattle, 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 rattle. You know what, Alice? I'm glad we met. I enjoy talking to you in spite of your all your protests to the contrary. I think you feel the same way. Oh, and in spite of all your protests to the contrary, I think you feel the same way. You're such a sweetheart, we will, baby. <laughs> That's good, though. No one needs to think straight. We all have just one brain cell that we share. And so the friendly conversation continues. No ground to walk on, no concept of time, no one else in sight, and yet with Alice at your side, you don't miss any of it. Kahima best friend. You walk and walk and walk. Then appears before you a giant looking glass. Oh. Pretty. Oh, look at that big crystal. It's so pretty. Kagamidana. Is it? <laughs> it is? Suisho Dotara Bonanimo Hakiri to Jibuno Sugataga Utsurana. Oh. You're right. I could see my face from every angle. Mmm, I'm pretty. Suisho no Yona Kagaminanoka, Kagami no Yona Suisho Nanoka. Dochiraka Wakarangana. Tadama. Suto a Chigano a Tashkana Yoda. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's weird that it's sp so sparkly here in the dark. Uh, is it glowing or is it shining light? Uh, is light shining onto it from somewhere? I butchered that sentence, but wow, my eyes unfocused. <laughs> Anyways, why is it glowing? jellyfish. <laughs> Oh my god, Alice, what if we were jellyfish? Maybe this is the exit? Alice, it's your namesake. 
Alice from Alice in Wonderland. Hello through the looking glass. Fucking dive, bitch, dive! To eat I took a dagger. Kono joke on your way to a Anagachi Machiga to eat killed Muro de Monaino Kamashirina. Duh. Daga Makagami a Kagamida. Ora Miro. Sudo. Animal Shikaki Munai. Korega Monogatari Nara. Kagami a Tori Nuket a bet no sekaini. You better put your money where your mouth is. Are we gonna? What would the other world be like? So goody or not, Tada Nani Mukamo got Sakasama and Janaynoka. Kono Sekai got Genjis the Naino Tato Stara. Kagami no Muko are Genjis Sekai Nanaka Mosherenai. Sounds like a fucking exit to me. What do you think it's uh, it's like back where we came from? Sana Kono Sekai got Yume de Ari. かつ悪夢ならばいい世界であり、いい夢ならば悪い世界なんだろう。うーん。これ壊したらどうなるんだろうな。おお、well ここから出る必要もない。それに加え、僕はすでて鏡をぶち破るような野蛮な人間でもないし、破片で怪我でもしたら悪いのは。まあ、私は言っていない。もし、もし、もし、もし、もし、もし、もし、もし、もし、もし
You prod the surface of the mirror with your finger and it ripples like water. Wow! Sugoi! Ikesoda. Wow! We're gonna jump in the mirror! Cannonball! Sure does! Sate.君が発言する前に言っておこう。どうせ君のことだから特に考えもなしにどちらかの鏡の中に飛び込もうとするんだろう。あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
That day, I sat face to face with a steely-eyed police officer. He had paid a visit to my house, inquiring after the recent harassment I had reported. So, what did you say about the harassment you have been doing? Sure thing. Oh, 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 my name says tea now. I set my cup of tea back on the table. I set myself on the table. How's it going, handsome? <laughs> I set my cup of tea back on the table, then balled my hands into fists and placed them in my lap. At first, I thought it was all in my head. Starting about a month ago, I would get these weird silent calls two or three times a day, but whatever, whenever I would answer the phone, the person would just hang up. After that, sometimes I'd be walking down the street and sense someone following me, or at home, I'd feel like someone was watching me. Gee. What, you think I'm just paranoid? I furrowed my brows. Hmm. So, if someone tells me a ghost story, my brain would then be more inclined to interpret a harmless prank as paranormal activity? That's not true. My house is haunted as fuck. You explain why my science textbook flew across the room and hit me in middle school, huh? You fucking explain that to me. Opposite side of the room, hurled across my bedroom, and smacked me in the shoulder. You explain that, mister! True story! He nodded calmly and then glanced around the room, not giving a shit about my testimony. <laughs> You've done your homework, I see. Yes, my parents' jobs have been traveling all uh yeah, have them traveling all over the country, so they're hardly ever home. I decided to explain the situation in detail. He must have done a background check on me ahead of time. The police are always so efficient in their jobs. Yes, I'm I'm very lonely. I mean you're not wrong, but are you trying to suggest I'm a pathological liar or something? Gee. Evidently, he was probing me for any strange behaviors. I guess that's just how cops operate, trust but verify and all that. I handed him the letter I had received. So you think I created this blackmail for attention, is that it? Indeed it is. <laughs> Newspaper clippings like it's a kidnapping ransom note. Warning. You know what you did. Now confess or suffer terrible misfortune. I repeat, confess your sin. Part of me still thinks that it's Alice sending me this letter because he got the short end of the stick and he's grumpy. And he remembers and I don't. Next time I won't ask nicely. Signed, The Wolf. あ、ウー。新聞などの切り抜きで作った文章ですね。筆跡がわからないようにしている。念のため、鑑識に回しますが、手がかりはつかめないでしょう。well, yeah, he probably used glue, not saliva, to bind the newspaper clippings to the paper. Why is that? I tilted my head. Well, yeah, cause if he has to use glue, it gets very sticky. Unless he's using a glue stick, but even still. Glue. Oh, I see. Soreni. Anata no kyogen to you can also mo hikukunata. Rude. You'll find my fingerprints on there because I opened the letter. <laughs> Yay, glad to hear it. I clapped my hands, glad to be freed from suspicion. Oh, wait, did I misread that? He's like believing me now. Oh, okay. Yeah, 
おあなたが周囲に構ってほしいと自演したものであればあなた自身が明確な方法で殺害されると大げさに書いた方が効果的でしょう。<笑> okay. Uh... Okay, yes, less likely that I staged it. I misread that. My apologies. I thought he said that it's more likely that I staged it because there's no forensic evidence except for my stuff on the letter. Okay, I'm dumb. That's what we've proven today. Good point. I agree. I have no idea. Oh, sorry. Okay, I have no idea. Oh, sorry. I'm afraid I don't. I promptly shook my head. I couldn't think of anything I might have done to piss anyone off, much less whoever the wolf was supposed to be. Deva, I don't know, I got 88 of them. I wish. I shrugged my shoulders. There's just too many to go through. I can't figure out which one it is. So, this is it. I'm going to ask you a q u e s t i o あなたは誰かに何か恨みを買うような覚えは、um, no. I shook my head again. ですが、この文面からは特定の人物への恨みつらみが感じ取れます。Oh. Time, That's the part I'm not supposed to deny. Yeah. I murmured vaguely and took a sip of my tea. a t e n a a k a r e t e i n a i n o e a n a t a i g a i n a t e r a r e t a k y o h a k j o de a r u k a n o s e m o a r i m a s a When I asked them, they all said they couldn't think of anyone. n a r u h o c h i n a m i a n a t a t o k o k a z o k no Kanke wa r y o k o d e s a I mean, I like to think so at least. a n a t a w a 年頃のあなたを広い屋敷に一人きりにするようなご両親を恨んではいないのですか ?No, not really, dude. I can fucking stay up as late as I want. I can eat what I want. I can sleep in all I want. I can watch anime of any variety out of the living room where no one will judge me because I'm by myself. Not really. Granted, I knew my family situation was uncommon, but as far as I was concerned, I was well provided for. Fucking Final Fantasy XIV subscription, I could play all hours of the day as、so、long as I kept my grades up. Not a bad bargain. Although they lived in another city and were typically hands off, I received a hefty allowance from them and was generally allowed to live my life freely. Fucking dream. So, this guy. ではお兄様はどうですかお兄様お兄様<笑>あ !I love that I'm a big brother!My <笑> brother? はい。確かあなたのお兄様はこの近くに住んでいると伺っておりますが。The policeman fixed me with a probing look.You see, I have a much older brother. We're the typical nuclear family. I know. Boring. Perfectly ordinary in every way. Wow, you really have done your homework on me. That's a cop for you, I guess. Anyway, yes, my brother does indeed live nearby. He's so busy with work that he opted to rent an apartment closer to his job rather than deal with the, com with the commute all the way from our parents' house. <laughs> <laughs> Fat chance. For what purpose? So, so no, you can't. I mulled it over. Perhaps he was having trouble me taking me seriously, considering I was only 19. I understand where you're coming from, but I just don't think he'll have time. He's a really busy guy. Emoto no anatoga. Kikiki jokyo dato you no ni mo kakawarazu. Deska? I know, he's so mean to me. Nope, he'll just say I'm hallucinating. Yay! He's not really the type to rush over and rescue me, to be honest. <laughs> oh, he absolutely is. 
I nodded vigorously. <laughs> the policeman took a sip of his tea. Evidently, he felt his statement was a touch improper for someone of his station. Oh, was popping my neck and hit my mic. Did you did you hear that? <laughs> the popping of my neck, not hitting my mic. <laughs> Snap! <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, it, it was it was a solid crack. <laughs> I felt it halfway down my spine. <laughs> um. Anyways, <clears throat> yeah, I get that a lot. Uh, for the record, I do have his phone number, so we could try to call him if you like. But I don't think he'll answer. You could leave him a, an alarming voicemail, though, saying that you found me deceased in the living room with blood and, and overturned furniture and just, like, it was an absolute disaster. And see how he reacts. See if he comes over or if he just chills like, oh, well, that's sad. The policeman pulled out his notepad. Please crank call him for me. Crank call him. He will know if it's me. Please. Please play pranks on him. Oh, sure. Here's his number. There you go. Call him anytime. I recited my brother's phone number and the policeman promptly jotted it down. <laughs> he pocketed his notebook, then turned back to me. Mm-hmm. Right. What do you think I should do? Ooh, Mr. Big Swan Policeman gonna come protect me? Ooh, how manly. I gave him the finger guns. <laughs> A hot guy risking his life to protect his damsel in distress. This is starting to feel like an action movie. I was perhaps not quite as nervous as I should have been given the situation. Wow. That was not what I was expecting. Uh, what? As in 24 7? I stared blankly. 24 7 surveillance with no breaks? Is he gonna see me doing. You know what? What? Take, taking a bath? Watching questionable anime with adult themes? And by that, I mostly mean like anime that's like really weird and out there like Sarazanmai. That one was something else. And you want to start today? Wait, so does that mean you'll stay here for as long as it takes until the culprit is app apprehended? So this. Oh. <laughs> In contrast to my concern, he was entirely unruffled. Uh, uh but I'm a woman, and you're a m m m m man. Motion. Privacy. Ni kakawaru gubun wa. Kochira mo dekiru kagiri haiyo shimasu. Honestly, I ain't even fucking bothered, bro. Right. It's not my privacy I'm worried about per se. I just don't want you to see me in my jammies, my fuzzy pajamas. They look like pandas. This is all too sudden. Is this the real life? Look, um, don't you think this is maybe a little drastic? I mean, he said misfortune, not that he was going to murder me. Though I suppose misfortune could be murder. Murder is unfortunate. Right. I nodded reluctantly. I nodded reluctantly. Somehow, I don't think he's going to take no for an answer. Anata ni kizu hitotsu tsukukoto ga nai yo. Genjuna keigo suru yo. 
As a helpless maiden threatened by some unknown menace only known as the wolf, I could use all the help I could get. He followed suit, rising to his feet. Ah, Sorry, my door just started to open a little bit. Either there is a dog in there sniffing around where they shouldn't be because my door doesn't latch, or or the wind outside made the uh, the frame shift and decided to pop open like it is wont to do. Uh, anyways, he inclined his head politely. Red, is it? Nice to meet you. Hajimemashite! I wiggled my hand, subtly prompting him to shake it, but he simply disregarded it at, after a glance. Fucking rude! But okay, I guess. You do you. Oh yeah, my name is... Miss Aris. Miss Aris. Is Aris supposed to be my last name? Or first name? Or... Because it says T as the thing when I talk. Well, now we're introduced, so now what? If he is going to be observing me 24-7, then we need to get him all settled in. Oh, that's right. Will you need to go home and pack a change of clothes? I don't need to go home. Huh? Oh, I guess you thought ahead. That was the moment I noticed the gingham basket on the floor next to him. Oh, that's cute. Not sure what I was not sure I was expecting that from Mr. Serious Business. Oh, right. As seeing as you'll be staying here, would you like me to include you in my meals? Yeah, wow, you really thought ahead. I glanced back at the basket. How can it possibly hold all of that? What about showers? Instead of arguing the point, I decided to move on. What? Okay, look, I, I'm more than willing to let you borrow the tub, so please go ahead and use it whenever you want. Seriously. Sorry, but I can't have you going without showers for who knows how long. Yes, please. Jeez, please do. I know I struggle, but come on. Evidently, he knew better than to fight me on this one. By all means, please do. Now, then, as for your sleeping arrangements. Huh? In winter? Well, I do! You'll die out there! This is even worse than the no showers thing. We have plenty of guest rooms here. You can just use one of those. Same difference. Come on, no need to be shy, alright? I smiled at him. But he denied it outright. Dude, you're not sleeping outside. You're either in the house or I'm locking your ass out. At this point, I was starting to think that maybe he wanted to stay as far away from me as possible. Look, uh, did I do something wrong? Do you just take the idea of being around me more than necessary? I figured I may as well just ask him directly. And yet... Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, uh, but what part of that means you have to sleep outside? Is he really that worried about infringing on my privacy? 
Dude, just fucking knock before you walk in the room. It's not a big deal. Miss Alice. What, and let you treat yourself like a dog? No! You can have hot meals, you can take a fucking bath, and you can sleep on a freaking bed! Right. I mean, I also let my dog sleep on a bed, so... You're treating yourself worse than I treat my dog. My dog is the most spoiled creature in this entire household. I struggled to keep the sarcasm out of my voice. For the sake of my own self-esteem, I'm just going to assume he's trying to be res a respectful house guest. Am I still allowed to go outside and stuff? もちろん。あなたの行動を制限する行為はしないつもりです。ただし、出かける際には私も付き添わせていただきます。As uh -huh. expected. Okay, okay, okay. Is that not a limitation in and of itself? What happened to not infringing on my privacy? So much for that, I guess. I don't think you can reasonably expect me to carry on with my daily life if you're going to be breathing down my neck the whole time. Yeah. Red didn't seem particularly bothered by this. He took a sip of his tea. Would you like a refill? Yeah, Mmm... He set his teacup back on the, onto the saucer, sat up straight, and folded his hands in his lap. I got the distinct sense that he was preparing to go without tea for the rest of his life if it meant sparing me the inconvenience. <sighs> you know, you're a very guarded person. I bet you must get that a lot. I won't argue there, but still. As I trailed off, Red promptly changed the subject. <laughs> uh, yes, what is your, your height, your blood type, and your favorite food? Um, I'm gonna compliment his outfit. What a lovely outfit. You wear it well. <laughs> yep, you're welcome. His composure didn't waver, so I pressed on. Why do you wear that riding hood anyway? No, I'm just curious. You like it? Oh, no, of course not. Oh, I know. Is red your favorite color? What? Uh, but, I mean, I, I like to wear my sweater all the time because my favorite color. You're the one who asked me to ask you, but okay. Nanika. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing at all. <laughs> Having lost the will to argue with him, I slumped my shoulders. He was so frigid. He was practically sub-zero. Feeling like an intruder in my own house, I got to my feet, and he followed suit. Doko. To my room? I sniffed sadly. I wanted a moment to myself. Alone. So deska. Deva. Watashimo Tomoshimas. No. What? I stared at him blankly. Eat Tadesho. Watashiva. Anatao goe sir tamini. Anatao nijo yojikan kanshi sir to. Does 24 hour surveillance mean you're gonna just stare at me for 24 hours in a day? Because that's kind of uncomfy. You need a blink. Wait, so you're just gonna follow me around the house all day? Does get In the end, I decided to stay in the living room. If I couldn't have any alone time, then there was no point in going to my room in the first place. Now it was time for dinner. Are you sure you won't have dinner with me? Mm. The table was laden with tonight's dishes. Fish, potatoes, rice, and a freshly mixed salad with a creamy homemade dressing. That still sounds amazing. Naturally, it was all for me. 
I mean, don't get me wrong, I was more than happy to cook for the both of us, but as you can see, he refused to allow it. Instead, he stood on the opposite side of the room, his hands folded behind his back like a mafia bodyguard. Which, I, by the way, I also have uh, the mafia dating sim, uh, P Pio Fiore or something like that. Uh, sure, we can come to some sort of compromise here. Look, if you won't let me cook for you, will you at least eat your food at the table with me? Because I asked you to? Oh, um... Eating alone is actually depressing. I think I actually remembered being... Him being an efficient... Efficiency thing. But I'm gonna go with what I originally said. Just, just to be fair. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> because eating alone is depressing. That's not what I meant, and you know it. No, right. In that case, uh, it's because it's more efficient? I changed tact on the spot. Think about it. I'm going to be dragging you all over the place with my own schedule. Plus, I'm more of uh, the spontaneous type, so I might change up my plans entirely on a whim. With that in mind, don't you think it'll save time in the long run if you plan your meal breaks around my around mine? <clears throat> Red seemed inclined to agree with this. Mm -hmm -hmm. Join me. Sit. Eat. Feast. But just as I heaved a sigh of relief at my narrow victory. He pulled out a cylindrical object out of his basket. Is that a tin can? Hi. What? That's not your dinner for tonight, is it? Hi. どのような状況でも持ち運びやすく、簡便かつ衛生的な食べ物です。What? But the label on the can read mackerel. Excuse me? He's gonna eat a can of mackerel? What a coincidence! I'm having fish tonight, too! Hi. Mm-hmm. Do you have anything else to go with that? Um... Sir, where is your meal? Are you sure that'll be enough to fill you up? I am going to worry. You're not getting enough nutritional balance just eating out of a can. You don't eat this for every meal of every day, do you? Hi. Huh. 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 Don't you ever get tired of it? <laughs> do you not eat vegetables? What about some fruit? Can I interest you in a can of fruit? How many kinds of meat are we talking? <laughs> After a long silence, I turned to him with pleading eyes. I'm only saying this because I care about you as a fellow human being. Please just eat my cooking. It's for your own good. Here, have a seat. I might not have much to offer you tonight, but I, uh, the going forward, I'll factor you to all of my meal planning. Just eat! Just have something more than me! Please! I've had a crash course on how important it is to fucking eat balanced meals. Please just eat a balanced meal. I got to my feet and put my apron back on. <laughs> oh, for crying out loud, why are you so stubborn? Apparently, his the uh, apparent his uh, apparently his curt response had struck a nerve. His icy tone put a damper on my spirits. No, no, fucking just make him eat good food. Listen, it's gonna impact your work performance if you're not getting good nutritional values out of your meal. Your body won't be able to process it properly. Fortunately, it extinguished my anger as well. He's right. 
I'm the one who keeps trying to force him against his will. I'm sorry. I know I'm being obnoxious. I really don't mean to jump down your throat about this. Sorry. But please eat more than just a can of mac over dinner. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So does that mean I can keep being on keep on being obnoxious? Ob obnoxious. I <laughs> I'm struggling. I'm strug I'm struggling. At my challenge, Red's eyes narrowed. I narrowed back. And then I wiggled my eyebrows. And then I stuck out my tongue. Bit. In response, I had smirked. <laughs> Close enough. It was possible he would start he, he would start to hate my guts, but that was a risk I was prepared to take to make sure this bitch got his fucking servings of nutritional food. Just put some fucking vegetables in that can. Look, Red, are you absolutely sure you won't eat my cooking? <laughs> Even though it's delicious, fresh, and nutritious. But I want you to eat it. I just want you to acknowledge that I'm a good cook. Give me the serotonin. Isn't it obvious? I want to get to know you better. No. I'm aware. I'm just choosing to do it anyway. It's a risk I'm willing to take. The question is, do you understand why I'm willing to risk it? What's the best word to describe this situation? Stalemate? Touch and go? You want to have a glaring contest with me? Well, knock yourself out! Fair warning though, I'm not going down! Sure enough, after a period of prolonged eye contact, Red averted his eyes. <laughs> I win. I'm glad you understand. I tied my apron strings. All the while fist pumping internal. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I'll whip you up something real quick. Just sit tight. I turned and headed for the kitchen as fast as my feet could carry me. Zoom! On the oh. Not you, it's, uh, I don't mind. Just then, I stopped and turned back. Actually, I've got an idea. How about you eat the food on the table there? That way, we'll both get to have a hot meal. See, very efficient. Good job, me. I'm so smart. I'm, I'm so smart. So this <laughs> I take that as an agreement that I'm smart. He sighed, got to his feet, and sat in my chair instead. Yay! Sure thing! Bon appetit! Red proceeded to eat my cooking in perfect silence. Silence means that it's good, because it's yummy, and he's eating it, and he likes it. Nanika. Until he noticed my gaze. Oh. <laughs> You're wearing your riding hood when you eat? You wear your riding hood when you eat, too? Hi. Oh. Oh, who cares? I eat wearing a kigurumi sometimes. Oh, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, cool. After a moment, he fell silent. Miss Alice, are you doing a good job? Oh, ho, ho. I'm glad you asked. Huh? Oh, um, I don't know if I'm skilled at it, but I do like it. It kind of feels like I'm doing science, you know? Plus, once you, you're you done, you get, to, you get to eat a tasty meal. At his question, I began to babble excitedly. So, so, so. Yeah! I finished up my speech with a bright smile. Yay! And that's where the conversation ended. Okay. So, what brought that on? Oh. It was the first time he'd asked me a personal question, but that happiness was short-lived. 
I can't back down here, otherwise we won't get anywhere. How will I ever smooch those lips? I mean, <clears throat> did, did I say that out loud? Sorry, um, I, ignore that. I need to keep asking questions until something sticks. Do you like it? Yes. Generally, it's helpful to motivate the cook with a few words of encouragement. Insults can be sexy too, if that's your game. Wink wonk. Bingo? You're very mean. Stone cold. He's as cold as ice. It felt like a blizzard had descended on the living room, er, the living room, on the dining room, and the living room, and the house, and my soul, and my heart. And I'm sad. Oh, that reminds me. I hastily changed tact. Do you have a favorite food? Okay. Are you sure? I feel like you hesitated for a second there. At this, I realized I'd forgotten to start cooking. <laughs> I'm very hungry. You're right. Okay, I'm gonna cook something. You take your time, all right? Oh, and feel free to have seconds. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, this is heaven. Relaxing under the hot water, I could feel the fatigue melt away. Whew, I guess this is the only time of day I'll get any peace. Oh. I could hear red on the other side of the bathroom door. Nope, nothing at all. <laughs> you really sound like you're like right fucking behind me, bro. Okay, I appreciate the offer, but I can't have you rushing in here or else you'll see me naked. This time I made sure to keep my voice down so he wouldn't hear. Oh, sorry, sorry. No, you didn't hear that. I'm, I'm, don't come in. I'm naked. True to his word, Red hadn't left my side for the entire day. Although he had at least given me the dignity of remaining faithfully outside the door as I changed and bathed. He's a good guy, though. He was a stubborn man who could often look, who often took things to their logical extremes, but I could tell he was serious about protecting me from the wolf. Whew. Scene change. Whew, I feel so refreshed. Drying my wet hair, I stepped into the hallway to find Red standing there. Your turn! I gestured to the bathroom, but he shook his head. I'm Mm, I mean, at least rinse your body. You can skip washing your hair every other day. Well, I do mind, and I refuse to compromise with you on this issue. I glared up at him, and he looked away. Would you want to be known as the stinky cop? Good. Sure, go for it. And so he walked into the newly vacated bathroom. <sighs> Once he shut the door, I started to head for the living room. But before I got there, I suddenly remembered a critical issue. He doesn't have a towel. I was so used to living there here alone, I'd forgotten what it was like to have a guest over. Without a towel, Red would be forced to trip dry. I turned and headed for the linen closet. Back at the bathroom. Red, are you already in the tub? Carrying a fresh towel over one arm, I knocked on the door. No response. Can I come in? Oh gosh, but what if he's in the middle of changing? I pressed my ear to the door, but couldn't hear anything. Mm. Convinced that he must already be in the tub, I put my hand on the doorknob. Not at all interested in seeing him naked, but I mean, if, if sacrifices must be made. I'm coming in. Whoa. All of a sudden, the door whipped open and I staggered forward. <laughs> you scared the bejeebas out of me. Hi. Yeah, I'm fine. I hastily straightened up. Sure enough, he was completely 
clothed. What the? How did you finish that quickly? Or did you not get in yet? Oh. How? How could he have finished within the few minutes that it took me to get to the linen closet and back? I mean, it's called a military shower. You just get in, rinse off, blow this soap, and you're done. Talk about a quick dip. Upon further inspection, I noticed the strands of hair peeking out from under his hood were dripping wet. You're soaked! Sure enough, here he is, drip drying. Ah. <laughs> Please, use this. I put the towel over his head and moved to dry him off. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But instead, he jerked away from me, taking the towel with him. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. With nothing left for my hand to do, I lowered it awkwardly. Meanwhile, Red reached under his riding hood to dry himself off, a feat that took considerable talent. Then he looked at the floor in surprise. Oh, don't worry about it. I can take care of it. Your first priority should be to get those clothes dry. Go stand by the living room fireplace. Good. You listen to me, mister. Once the bathroom was all cleaned up, I returned to the living room to find Red kneeling by the hearth. Here, drink this. It'll warm you up. I offered him the mug in my hand. Consider it a little freebie. It's on the house. Get it? <laughs> oh. It's chamomile tea. Do you like it? Eh. Ma. He he he. I love tea. Chamomile tea is so good. He lowered his gaze to the mug of tea. My only problem is when I drink tea, if I drink it hot, then I start to overheat. Because I overheat so easily. So I have to usually drink it like room temperature or cold and it makes me sad. I want a hot cuppa. He lowered his gaze to the mug of tea. Interesting. I hadn't expected that. I didn't know... Uh, I didn't know many guys who liked herbal tea. My brother had once called it disgusting. And I certainly wasn't expecting Red to be one of them. When I sat down next to him, he scooted a few inches away. This gesture actually hurt my feelings quite a bit, but I was never going to survive this forced cohabitation if I let these microaggressions get to me. Instead, I scrutinized him, looking for potential topics of conversation. The glow of the fire gently illuminated his face. Drinking herbal tea while listening to the crackle of firewood. This is the life. That sounds so pleasant. Are your clothes dry? Hi. Okagesamate. <laughs> Hmm, good. He spoke without looking at me. Okay, well, you know, we don't have to have eye contact. That's good. But just so we're clear, you'd better sleep inside in the house tonight, okay? You know, I I would I would be perfectly fine just sitting in complete silence. Like just sit with a cup of tea by the fireplace, comfy cozy, with a book. No one has to say anything. I mean, Red, you could borrow a book too if you want to read or something. Hmm? When he finally turned to look at me, I offered him a bright smile. Cha ching On the off chance you were to get pneumonia, it would impact your work performance. Tee hee. Over the course of our short time together thus far, I had learned to appeal to his rationality. Sure enough, he pursed his lips and sighed. Yes. Okay. Relax, would you? I sighed and shook my head. 
You don't need to be so stiff with me. It's just going to make me feel awkward. Okay. Thank you. Okay, 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 okay. Sitting at my vanity, I was brushing my hair when I heard a knock at the door. Come in! Don't worry, I'm not naked this time! As soon as he walked in, Red went to open the window and check outside. A gust of cool night air rushed into the room, sending my sleepiness packing. Oh. Oh, I think Harley just went outside. That scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Sorry, my doggy door for my dog is nearby my desk and she went out and it like shook the whole fucking panel. <laughs> um, okay. Gotcha, thanks. He closed the window. Meanwhile, I turned around in my chair to face him. So, are you going to spend the night in my room? Why would I ask him that? Because he was the one who suggested it, of course. Hard to believe, isn't it? First he claimed he was going to sleep outside, and now this. <laughs> he looked at me like I'd grown a second head, and I returned the look in full force. I'm pretty sure anyone would have at least a few misgivings about a man and a woman sharing a room at night. I mean, you could just as easily sleep in the room next to mine and leave the door open to keep an ear out for any intruders, but I mean, you do you, I guess. He tilted his head in contemplation. I don't really understand his logic, but then again, I'm not a cop, but I mean, at the same time, I don't think a cop would think that way. Even a fictional one. Well, if it doesn't bother you, then I guess it doesn't bother me either. <laughs> it's just, you know, handsome guy staying in my room, watching me sleep. As I climbed into bed, Red sat down on a chair near the window. You're going to sleep there? Yes. If you are here, you can find it easily. I mean, I could, if you, I, I could like, I don't know, buy a cot or something for you to sleep in. Or I could lay some blankets on, on the floor and try and make cozy. You're, you're going to wake up with like a kink in your neck and a stiff back and just uncomfy everywhere. It doesn't look comfortable. This is how you feel. That's very sad. Why would you do that to yourself? I'm gonna give you a blankie! In that case, here! Because I remember I saw a cute little CG. Yes! Yes! This was one thing I do remember. I got up and pulled one of the blankets off my bed to give to him instead. Oh, please. I've got like four blankets on my bed. Don't mind me. Believe it or not, I've never caught a cold in all my life. I was lying, of course. I've caught a few, but I'm pretty stupid, so it doesn't happen often. He pushed the blanket away. They really ought to have a name for this archetype. I dub the Frigidere. Who's gonna protect me if you freeze to death in your sleep? Wait, I get it. This is one of those scenarios where I have to warm you up myself, isn't it? <laughs> I clapped my hands in understanding, and a split second later, Red had wrapped himself up in the blanket. <laughs> okay, if you insist. Aw, darn. I shrugged and crawled back into bed with my thousands of stuffed animals. You're welcome. No problem. He <laughs> Cutie. Lying down in bed, I continued to chat with Red for a bit. Or, you know, tried to. It was mostly one-sided. One Today was pretty uneventful, huh? You don't want 
どこから現れどのようなことを仕掛けてくるともわかりませんあ、oh. like an assassin はい cool I mean scary you're a cop right what sort of criminals have you gone up against over the course of your career Just so we're clear, I'm only asking about your track record so I can build a sense of trust with you. It's completely efficient and logical and stuff. Yoku o b o y t e i m a s e Oh. Really? Hi. Watashi ni tote, jiken wa nichi jo de ari, samatsu na dekimoto des. Wow. I raised my eyebrows in surprise. Then I noticed him staring at me. Like what you see? What? Yeah. He likes what he sees. He averted his gaze for a moment, then glanced back at me. I thought I was going to say that 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 I was going to say t I mean, isn't a blackmail letter supposed to be like, I have incriminating evidence of something bad that you did, and if you don't give me money, I'm gonna expose it to the world! And be like, I have naked pictures of you. And be like, okay. Okami ni nani o sareru no ka? Kuan ni omotta li shinai no desu ka? I am prepared to protect myself by any means necessary. At this, I laughed. Of course not. After all, I've got you. I, I mean that in the most sincere way possible, though. Having you here is a, a huge comfort. Because you can distract them while I go for a weapon. A brief silence fell between us until I broke it once more. Tell me, Red, how do you think I feel about this? About all this? All of this? Not just this, but all of it. Well, yeah, because I got you, a really cute, handsome dude, in my house, keeping me company, because I'm, I'm, I'm very lonely. <laughs> I laughed nervously. <laughs> Well, I can't pretend this isn't kind of fun. This kind of thing doesn't happen every day, you know? So, this is what I'm saying. I'm going to be a little bit of a joke. I'm going to be a little bit of a joke. You're just doing your job, hun. You do your job. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Same, actually. I'm going to be a little bit of a joke. I'm going to be a little bit of a joke. I'm going to be a little bit of a joke. Don't be silly. You're protecting me after all. And like I said, I really appreciate you being here. So, this guy. I do. Yes, I do.、Mm, and that's where the conversation died. <laughs> oh <my God> . <laughs> He really did. <laughs> <laughs> After a pause, I decided to ask a different question. You know, Red, ever since I got that blackmail letter, I've been thinking maybe I ruined somebody's life. Shikashi, do you s t i l l want to know? Nope, because I'm perfect in every way. Not really. I'm just really stupid, so I might have forgotten. <clears throat> right. If I could, I would have told you about it by now. Tell me, Red, what is a sin to you? That's pretty basic. So, committing a crime, in other words. Well, I definitely don't recall doing anything like that. Oh, but I've been known to tell little white lies on occasion. If I'm late for school, sometimes I tell the teacher my alarm clock was broken. I'm late to work, I tell the boss my alarm didn't go off, which is sometimes true. I guess most people would have, really. So you could only know the show. For it's any more gendo garimas. Sibeteo, she says, Tishmatara. Giuga Nakna. 
I do love my freedom. I want, I want actual freedom, though. Oh, sorry. Sorry. And the heaviest sin would be to murder someone? How do you say? In the law, you can be able to Eh, yes, because to betray one's country as a whole, I mean, I'm not going to get into that. But murder, bad. Treason, also bad. Both bad. Oh, you mean like inducement of foreign aggression. Okay, yeah, starting a war is super bad because that's like murder times a billion. In other words, the crime of secretly communicating with other countries in order to start fights. Also known as warmongering. The more you know. War doesn't pick and choose its victims. Can't say I'm a fan, personally. Hee <laughs> hee. I giggled. <laughs> did you hear me giggle? I went hee hee. How did they... Uh, how do they decide the severity of each crime anyway? I probed for his opinion. その行為がなぜどのようにそうそうそうそう。それこそ先ほどから出ている法律や規律という言葉。そこからある程度のことが出てきた。お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、
本日のご予定は、mm. I'm going to school. そうですか Humming to myself, I open the fridge and look. <laughs> Improper. I can see your ankles, young lady! <laughs> Scandalous. I opened the fridge and took stock of the ingredients I had on hand. For breakfast, we can have eggs and toast, plus leftovers from last night. Then I just need to put together three dishes for the packed lunches, and we should be good to go. I quickly launched into meal prep. Red called out to me as I was、uh, plating the finished food. His gaze was fixed on the four boxed lunches sitting on the counter. Oh, the lunches? No, no, no. There's no way I could eat all of that. Yep. Does that make you curious? You want to know who? I grinned. Well, one is for me, and two of them are for my friends, I guess you say. <laughs> well, one of them is a friend, the other one is. It's hard to explain. Anyway, the last one is for you! Ta da! I thrust my chest out proudly. He stared back at me dubiously. Waza waza. Watashi no bun wo yoi shita no desu ka? I fucking promised, didn't I? Of course! Don't you want it? Kanzume ga arimasu. If you don't get some variety in your diet, you'll give yourself high blood pressure from excessive salt intake. A balanced diet is critical for someone with a job like yours that requires a lot of physical stamina. Otherwise, you won't have the energy to combat the bad guys! I rattled off all the excuses I could think of to keep him from getting a word in edgewise. Rattle, rattle, rattle. The point is, your well being directly benefits me. Does that make sense? Wakari Mashta. Arigataku. Uketrasete itadakimas. <laughs> Good. Yay! The time flew by, and before I knew it, it was time to leave the house. At the front door, I put on my shoes and turned on my heel. I'm going to school now! Wait. Really? Oh, right. I temporarily forgot about the 24 hour surveillance thing. He wasn't my personal butler or something, he was a police officer. This isn't going to be one of those things where you walk into my class wearing a school uniform and the teacher introduces you as our new exchange student, is it? I will die of secondhand embarrassment. Don't you fucking even! You stay away from my classroom, mister! You're joking, right? Yeah, no, fuck you! Oh my god! <laughs> He said this with a perfectly straight face, too. No! Let's think about this for a minute. Do you realize how long the paperwork will take to process? Once again, here I was, having to explain something to Red. It's just not worth it over a measly blackmail letter. <laughs> Please. Please let me talk you out of this. It's the most horrible cliche ever. Please. <laughs> I understand how you feel, but think about it. You're clearly a grown man. There's no undercover, there's nothing undercover about this. He shows up with like the baseball cap, skateboard under his arm. Hello, fellow children! <laughs> you become with the meme! Oh, God. With all the unwanted attention you'll attract, the culprit is bound to notice you immediately. 
I was desperate to keep him far, far away from the school. So this is it. Oh, thank God. 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 Stop it! Bad red! Oh, now you're cooking with. Don't agree with him, T! I shot him the finger guns. What, is he gonna be the sexy substitute teacher? Wink wonk! Mmm, this substitute teacher is pretty hot! Oh. Oh! Ah! Oh my gosh! Wolfie! I remember! Yup. <laughs> Lunchtime found me in the school courtyard. This is Wolfie, he's my best friend, I love him. And you'll see you'll see why. <laughs> As we ate, I told my buddy all about what was going on. His name was Wolfie, spelled with two O's and an E, apparently. He bit back a laugh as he spoke. No clue. He didn't, uh, he did tell me to give a shout if I'm ever in danger. Or if ever I'm in danger. Whatever. In the end, we decided against the substitute teacher thing. Oh, thank God. Oh my God. I was prepared to to never come back to this game. <laughs> I can't handle can't handle the level of embarrassment. I have to back up and go to the Cinder guy, which I think was Cinderella. I could go talk to Cinderella if if Red showed up as hi. I am substitute teacher. Mainly because it was ridiculous. Hmm. <laughs> What do you mean? So, yeah, you know, you don't talk. Keep it in the most simple. So, I said, I do see you talk. Kia, Koi, Toskate. So spooky. I'm maiden in distress. Save me, Wolfie. <laughs> Relax. Not gonna happen. I wave my hand dismissively. So, good. Arisan, kawaii kara na. Mmm, do go on. Hehe. <laughs> oh yeah, go ahead. Butter me up. Yo, sekai ichi no bishoujo. Bishoujo. That's right. I'm a bishoujo. I'm super pretty. Ain't that the truth? Give him the finger guns. We exchanged a high five. Hell yeah! What's up? I got to draw a picture of me high-fiving Wolfie now. I want to high-five my Wolfie. What do you mean? He's weird. Oh, and ridiculously attractive. Mm. More like ice cold. <laughs> by giving you whiplash with these varying responses. This seemed to dampen Wolfie's enthusiasm quite a bit. Or so I thought. Then he grinned. <laughs> I mean, listen, if the options were smash or pass, I guess I'd pick smash, but I, I don't know, man. I don't know if I'm ready to go that far. I'm okay with just some smoochies and a couple of cuddles and maybe maybe a nice hug that lasts a little bit too long. Um Am I trying to smash that? Oh god. Oh god. I <laughs> Actually, how do I... Ah, oh, there we go. Save. Oh, these are all... Okay, I'm gonna unlock these. 
and I'm gonna save over them because I'm not doing these anymore. Eh. Yes. Back. Um. You know what? Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to smash that. Yeah, right into the wall. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And then I'll dump him in the pool. Smash, splash. And then I'll have to hide the body somewhere safe. <laughs> smash, splash, and stash. Nice. And then I'll probably get bored and go... Uh, go read some boy on boy fanfiction. I'm very well aware of what you meant, bud. Oh, right! Silly me! I clapped my hands over my mouth and batted my lashes. Teehee! <laughs> this is what I love about Wolfie. He knows how to play along. Mm, it's not really about hooking up with him or anything like that. I just want to get to know him better, that's all. Mm -hmm. What, you don't believe me? You mean physical attraction? <laughs> you want the D or not? Oh, babies. My puppy's asking to go outside. I'm gonna probably have to end the stream soon. Good thing I wasn't drinking my tea just then, or I'd have spit it out all over myself. This really isn't the sort of conversation we should be having in public. <laughs> but we're not on the phone, and you're a guy. <laughs> of course, what else would you be? Peto. Peto. <laughs> Shake boy. Bang bang. Yes, <laughs> 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 okay, 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 okay. To. Itsuma de mosonna koto yatteru to. Sekkak no chance mo nogash chance yo. My chance? What big chance? What do you mean? Totsuzen, kikai na jiken ni makikomare ta kayoaki bishojo. Sonna kanojo no motoni haken sareta sugo ude no kesatskan. Ega kakete matanas te krai no e ni naru situation jane ska. <laughs> You're right. This really does sound like a like movie material. Although I can't help but notice you put question marks on part of it. Mm -hmm. Just my imagination. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Uh huh. Let's let's go with that. Tonikaku, sonna oishii jokyo na no ni renai flag ga tatanai wake ga nai. I mean, they could. They could still also end romantically, but not sexually. You think so? Mm, no, but let's pretend I do. Right, that's supposed to be just temporary, though. And mixed signals don't really count, if you ask me. My dude. Okay, now ladies. You're gonna help me? Uh, hmm. No, I didn't say that. No, I believe you. It's just. 
そんなかまととぶってる幼げな,な羊はオオカミにガブリと食われちゃうかもよ You're saying all men are beasts? どこの誰が考えたのか知らないけど秀逸な言葉っすよね Does that mean I'm in danger right now? Sitting alone here with you? オオカミなだけに Get it? よく気づきましたガオー He raised his hands up in front of his face, pointing his claws at me. Eek! Save me, Mr. Huntsman! I leaned back in full fright as I joked. Kya! k a b u i I love him so much! He put his arms around me. Nani a t e r n d a o m a Ah. An annoyed voice rang out, interrupting our little game. Oh, Wolfie jumped to attention, straightening his posture. You see, Mr. Huntsman is one of the hunters who works here. His real name is Ryoshi, but I'm not allowed to call him that at school. Fun fact Ryoshi means hunter in Japanese. Our parents weren't very creative. Hello, Mr. Huntsman. I greeted him formally. Ah, I got a zbaka b a k a r i a t e r n a Sick burn, Hunter the Hunter. Say, Sikiva Inskin, eh? Yeah, kind of. We exchanged a playful glance. Wearing his usual resting grump face, Mr. Huntsman sat down next to me and took a small rectangular item out of his pocket. You know you're not allowed to smoke, Mr. Huntsman! I snatched the pack of cigarettes away and put a lollipop in his mouth instead. Though he was a talented hunter, he had a poor grasp of social etiquette. Good grief. Try to be more considerate of your students. Some people are sensitive to the smoke, remember? Oh, Yuzu, hi! <laughs> I'm actually getting ready to end the stream, but like, I'm having so much fun in this scene. <laughs> I don't want to end it yet because I got the wolfie. <laughs> He rolled the lollipop around on his tongue as he spoke. Quiet, quiet, shut up! <laughs> I hastily clapped a hand over Wolfie's mouth. Shut the fuck up, Wolfie, shut up! Eh, eh no, it's just, just kidding! I was just playing a new Otome game and I was telling him about this the really hot character in the game. Because the game. Stop! You wouldn't be wishing me. Wolfie pushed my hand away, his eyes sparkling with curiosity. <laughs> Hearing Mr. Huntsman's disinterested response, I heaved a sigh of relief. Whew. Wolfie, he doesn't care about my love life, just like I don't care that he goes through girlfriends like underwear. <laughs> Why, you scared I'm gonna smooch a wolf? <laughs> Looks at Wolfie. <laughs> Wolfie waggles his eyebrows. <laughs> I stared at him, wearing my most threatening smile. Oi. Mm hmm? Just then, the bell rang, signaling the end of our happy little lunch period. Whoops, time's up! Gotta go! Fist pumping internally. Yes! I jumped to my feet. Meanwhile, Mr. Huntsman gave me a look that said, I'll let it slide for today. So, s n e Wolfie! 
You okay? Are you coming down with something? <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Thank you for the follow! <laughs> I knew this was gonna happen when Autumn wasn't here to see it because they wanted to see the alert! <laughs> <laughs> I rubbed Wolfie's back as I spoke. <laughs> oh, be careful, Wolfie. I don't want anything to happen to you. You're my best friend. I love you. Well, okay. Maybe have some soup when you get home, just to be safe. He was a sickly child growing up, and to this day, he would frequently fall ill. Mm, you're very welcome. Anytime, Wolfie. I love you. Mwah! He grinned like it was nothing. Mm, See you later. And so we waved goodbye. <laughs> Okay, okay, this is a good stopping point. I do have to get off for the night, unfortunately, because my, my puppo needs to go to bathroom. I have work in the morning. I'll be up at like 5 a.m. Um, and other stuff. Uh, but I will probably continue this uh, not tomorrow because I do have um, some some work stuff that I have to do. Uh, or not work stuff. God, what is it? I have, I have a thing I have to do after work, so I will be busy. Um, but, uh, I will be probably continuing this maybe on Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, Thursday we'll go back to Boyfriend Dungeon. Um, and Friday also, cause those ones I I usually end up staying up late playing those anyways. Um, but I'll try to do Taisho Alice on like work week, like work nights, um, since those ones I can do in smaller bursts. Um, but thank you very much for joining. It was a lot of fun. Um, thank you everybody who joined. I, I'm glad to see a new face as well. Uh, thank thank you again for the follow, Draconi. Um, and I'm gonna pop over here on this one. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, thank you again for joining in. Uh, have a great rest of your nights, and I will see you guys at the next tea time. Love you!